All right, so in 20 years, when they ask you about the first Big 12 home game, what's the one thing you're going to say you remembered about it? Um, honestly, just ener just the energy of the fans, of our bench, of the players on the field. Just That's probably the one word, just the energy that we had tonight. It's just really super exciting, and especially being home on our home turf field and bringing the energy, um, it makes us feel really good. And I feel like we made a statement um, getting our Big 12 conference win here at home. And, yeah, I just love it. It's awesome. You talked about the statement, but also just kind of how this game went, you know, shut out and all of that. Uh, what's this going to do for confidence? Yeah, no, I definitely think this helps our confidence. I mean, we went in knowing that we – we're trying to play possession and when we did fine I mean I think we had possession for majority of the game so I think that honestly just helped us like get comfortable on the ball and especially for uh like the next matches kind of just having that confidence that we know we can play we know we can build out of the back we know we can attack with speed I think kind of just this game gave us those opportunities and those little moments to really show us what we're capable of and what we can do throughout the rest of the season. I think our team chemistry on and off the field is definitely a good um, factor that helps us um, play to the best of our abilities. And also I think the biggest component that I thought stood out um, today was our composure on the ball, um, choosing our moments of when to attack, when to keep it. So yeah, I thought we did a really good job in that. It seemed like early in the game you guys were playing uh, right to left more direct. Um, was that going in something you were looking to do or um, was it just how the game unfolded? or? Yeah, I think it was just how the game unfolded. They they came out and they almost had five in their back line, so that really allowed us to switch the ball so easily from right to left, like you said, or from left to right. Um, in the second half, they came out and they stepped up, so they weren't in like a five back. So we did have like a little bit more pressure earlier on when our outside backs did get it. So I think that may have caused um, – us not being able to kind of switch the ball as freely. I think we still were able to, but that first half it was really, really open just because we our forwards had pinned them back. So it just really allowed for our outside backs to f like go full and attack. When you can get two goals so quickly, what does that do to take the pressure off the situation? Um, well, we definitely still have to stay locked in um, all 90 minutes of the game, um, but it definitely does bring the energy, it enhances our team chemistry, and it just fires us up to get more and yeah, it's just really exciting and um, yeah, it helps us, <laughs> inspires us to play better as well. So, you talked a little bit about how the second half was, was different. Was there a little bit of willingness to let them come at you because of the lead or was that just a change in the way they were playing? Um, I think honestly it was just a change kind of in their tactical game. I mean, we knew that they were going to go long every single time. So we kind of did sit back and wait for that long ball because we didn't want to get beat in behind. Um, they weren't really trying to play through the middle, so we didn't really have to worry about that. So I think we did find ourselves kind of sitting back and waiting to intercept that long ball and win the like the first and second balls, which I think we did an amazing job in the second half. And so I think it was more just tactical. I don't think that we came out thinking that we were going to sit back, but I think that's just kind of how the game played out. Yeah, and in addition to sitting back, like just like the transition, like the quick tra transition from defense to offense was also really important in our game. And I thought we did a really good job um, taking advantage of those opportunities. And yeah, it played out really well. What do you think of the rugby guys here tonight? Oh, they were great. We need them. <laughs> we awesome. need them here every time. Yeah. yeah, fires us up. Yeah, definitely. Freshman of the week this week, so I mean, what was that? What's that feel like? Uh, what kind of confidence does it give you? Oh, it's super exciting. Um, I'm just glad and that I can just be here with Arizona and representing um, for the program and also just representing my family as well. I hope to make them proud. And yeah, it's just such an awesome feeling um, getting this um, recognition. And I hope to hopefully use this to fire me up for the rest of conference as well. Your next opponent is a red hot West Virginia team. Um, they're riding a three game win streak. Um, so we, conversely, you guys are undefeated at home. So we got a bit of an uns unstoppable force meets a movable object. Um, how does your approach change, if at all, when you're going up against a team that's like such high in confidence and in form? Yeah, so I think tactically we're going to stay the same. Um, I think what we're doing on the field is working no matter what team we're going to play against. I mean, we have momentum. We have the players. We have the players to win games. So tactically maybe we watch some film on them and we see maybe some players that we need to look out for but other than that i think truly if we focus on our game i think that 
we have the talent and the capability to play like this against any team that comes our way. Exactly. And I feel like given that during preseason and um, just like the start of conference, we've been facing like pretty difficult opponents. And I feel like it challenged us and helped us figure out um, what we need to work on for the next games. And like uh, G said, just playing our game will get us through it.